Straight ahead, we've got what should be an interesting matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and the Kansas City Chiefs. With that, we're off to Arrowhead for the call from Kansas City. We'll hand it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you as always. EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to Chile, but of course sold out Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Straight ahead, it's wild card weekend, and we've got a great one in store between the Indianapolis Colts and the Kansas City Chiefs. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp, throughout the season to get to the playoffs. The intensity level will be off the charts. and turns will January have in store for us. The NFL playoffs are officially underway. This is taken at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their quarterback, a product of NC State. It's Jacoby Brissett. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. 20, 10, touchdown Indianapolis. T.Y. Hilton, 72 yards. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Well, they talked about stringing together some explosive plays here in the playoffs. That was a pretty explosive play. It certainly was. And if you're going to win on the road, it certainly helps to have big playability in your hip pocket, doesn't it? Finitary able to tack on the PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play. A long touchdown pass into the end zone. And here's Vinatieri now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. So here are the Chiefs now under their veteran head coach, Andy Reid. Leading this unit will be the big arm man out of Texas Tech. Tenth pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. And the tendency for most of these guys is to want to match things right away because they have a lot of confidence in their talent, too. They just saw a big strike against their team, and you know they're thinking to themselves, I can get this back right now on one play. Well, if it's there, you take it, but otherwise, just go. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Marcus Hunt, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. And that's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync. And now nothing but green ahead of him. He's at the 30, 10, and he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 85 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Well, go ahead and strap in, partner. We, <laughs> less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did. Essentially, we're back to even, aren't we? The extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at seven. 
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Now this offense ready to head back out there. They just did manage to sneak into the playoffs as a sixth seed, so it's a tough road ahead. They would need to win three games on the road in January, but there's 20 other teams who wouldn't mind being on that road. <laughs> You're exactly right about that. But your point about how daunting this is is well taken because it all depends on their mindset now. How do you break it down so that you're not looking at this whole big road and say to yourself, we've got no shot. You break it down to this game right now, win that one, then worry about the rest of them after that. And that's exactly right, and the staff told us that. They've been focusing with the players on don't look ahead, but that's hard to do sometimes, is it not? It is hard to do because the ultimate goal is to do what? Is to win a Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. So you have to look ahead a little bit, but you make sure you focus on the game at hand. Back to back, good plays. Have them on the move on first down. To throw is Brissett. On the right side, it's Hilton with a catch. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now the set. The completion good, this is Eric Ebron. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Brissett. Left side, Doyle with it. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And here are the Colts offensive starters. Ryan Kelly is a great example of how valuable the centers have become in the NFL. A former first-round pick, he was plugged in immediately to be a starter to handle big nose tackles as well as blitzing linebackers and also able to move and get out into the run game and get to the second and third level and deliver blocks. Complete to Hilton. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. The defense surrenders a 13-yard pass play there on third and one. How about the first quarter he's putting together out wide? Pretty impressive. I think that he likes it, the fact that we're playing this as a day game. You know, some guys, they respond better in the evening, so for some reason it builds up. For this guy, day game, and he is... And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. 15 yards, and the Colts have taken the lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. Benatari connecting on the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Now this offense about ready to take over again. They come in as the three seed, and this will very likely the last home game of the season for them, even if they win this one. But uh, while they wanted one of those top two spots, they're still in a pretty good position. They are, and let's face it, any team that gets into the playoffs, as far as I'm concerned, they're in a good position because they're doing what the rest of the league wants. A lot of people are sitting at home watching them. But you made a good point. Everyone is vying for one of the top two spots. You get an opening, you know, you get a week off, you have to play that opening week, and then you get a chance to collect yourself and see how everything else falls. But all in all, number three spot, They'll take it in one with it. Yeah, maybe they get a win here and get some momentum. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he can get a good head of steam going. Here's McCoy. 
And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. It's a first down on a gain of 10. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So, after the run by McCoy, here's another first and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And he's taken down inside the 30. 11 more on that one and another first down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Flushed out right. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Marcus Hunt able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. He turned that into a nice game, gets him eight yards closer for third down. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off, not only did he get some yardage back, but he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. Now right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. And a glance now at the Chiefs' defense. Tyron Matthews' instincts as a defensive back, I believe, are second to none. And that allows him to play all over the secondary. He can line up as an outside corner, inside in the slot, and that's difficult to do because you get so much traffic in there. And then, of course, they can also move him back as a safety. Anywhere you put him, though, you know he's going to end up around the football. To throw on second and ten. Brissett, middle of the field of the tight end, Doyle. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Brissett sets to throw it. And he gets it to Funches complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. We're set on first down. This goes out right to Doyle. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So from the 36 now, first and 10. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Colts in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. They'll run on first down with Marlon Mack. It was Reggie Ragland who got him down. 
And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one, because to me, when that happens, key guys are out, the next man steps up and plays well, but that starts with the organization itself, all the way through. No excuses for guys being out, finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them, and we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. To throw for set. And a throw there going to be incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let it play. And the officials are instructed if there's contact coming from both sides no flag let them fight it out and forces fourth down so no surprise of Vinatieri able to convert there he is of course the owner of the NFL record for most postseason field goals hard to believe he was undrafted coming out of college and now here he is into his 40s and he's still one of the best kickers around Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle. And these highlights here showcasing the solid game he's had. Well, someone woke up and felt good about themselves, <laughs> didn't it? I have to feel that he came into this one with the idea that, yeah, I can do this. Whether it's preparation, reading the film, whatever it was, it's paying off in a big way as we watch this one unfold. Yeah, two touchdowns over 100 yards already. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, looking back to that first quarter, they struggled, but now here in quarter two, they seem to have some rhythm. And it really shouldn't be a surprise to us because when we were in the production meetings, we asked a few of the players about, hey, what if things get a little rocky early? They all said the exact same thing. We're prepared, so we're confident things will work out. And so far, they have started to do so. Those three words we hear about, stay the course. They go play action here on first down. Caught, Kelsey, left side. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A good pick up there, 22. Now they have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely, great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Now a first down carry here for McCoy. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. It's a first down following a gain of three. Mahomes now on first down. That is caught at the seven. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. That's complete right around the eight. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll make it second and goal. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Here's Mahomes, third and goal, escaping the pressure right. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. 
They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. He's got it to Hilton. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. And in the air once more, it's Brissett. Looking left side and he's got a man. It's Doyle. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Play fake. Brissett. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 16 yards to pick up there. The Colts have a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right? Safety valve throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Chris Jones on the stop. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. And he's going to be stocked up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the dump off, and it's third down. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. A reminder coming up at the half as we've done all year. We'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown on what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin on the road to Super Bowl 53 in Atlanta. The passing game for the Colts finding its stride. Another first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker, or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Give him seven on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. The Colts on third down. They've been near perfect, four for five to this point. Here it's third and two. Brissett. To the right side, complete to Taylor. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. So they go pass on third and two. They complete it, but no gain. Should they have tried to run it? I thought the running the ball in that situation is what they would have done because at worst-case scenario, you may bring up a fourth down decision for your team. Instead, now they're not close to the first down. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? I like Come that. on. What does that mean, break out? That just because you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. So first and 10 now from the 30. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Nice footwork on the court. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. 
The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Mahomes now closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Flush to his right. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. That sack by the DN to Nico Autry. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number, and we can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. On target over the middle to Hill. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Justin Houston showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. To try again after the sack. Mahomes, eluding the pressure right. Going to throw right side here, complete. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. On first down, it's McCoy. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On second and nine, Mahomes. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple of extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. On second and nine. Reset. And this will complete right side to Funches. 
And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 45-yard line. Now the set. Wide open receiver complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Brissett going to lead his guys up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. They'll run it out of the gun with Mack. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. To the right side to Eric Ebron. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. On third down, Brissett. He completes this one to Mack. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here. You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. He's got nine points on field goals now. He's made three of them. That gets him a bit closer, but there's no question. They need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And for him, it's not his concern, right? He just goes out there when they call on him and goes ahead and puts points up on the board. But the offense has got to get together and figure out what's stalling their drives so they have to keep calling on him. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. On second and nine, Mahomes. He'll set up the screen to McCoy. And give him nine yards on the second down screen play. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Jabal Sheard in there to record another sack, and that is now six on the afternoon for this defensive unit. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. On play action, it's Mahomes. He's going to fire one deep. He's got a man complete. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. A big play there for KC, 45 yards. I know we love our jobs and pretty much any play we see we're pretty you know excited about the big plays let's face it that's what we absolutely look for how about that one that was great and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch they're fired out that's a big game and he will take it on in for a chiefs touchdown LaShawn mccoy 27 yards and the chiefs are able to extend their lead a good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed but with great dispatch. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. 
Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal. Here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. They get it to Funchess on the jet sweep, and that would cover beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to bring up the third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun, Brissett. And he gets it to Funchess complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. And a first down on that last catch as well. One quarter remains for the right to survive round one here in the AFC. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First down, Brissett. Middle of the field to the tight end, Doyle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, here's Brissett. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. They'll throw again. Brissett. They'll run the screen with Mack. And some room to maneuver. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. He had one touchdown earlier, nearly a second one there. Yeah, it took a touchdown-saving tackle to keep him out of the end zone after a big play. Perhaps you go right back to him. Don't need the distance, but maybe he can pay things off after a big effort. Looking to run with Mack. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. He wasn't ready. 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 From the two now, second and goal. And he's got his man. It's Hilton for the Colts touchdown. T.Y. Hilton, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are back within a single score. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. So that drive goes eight plays. And the result for the Colts is a touchdown. This one fielded at the five. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Here we go. Here we go. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this.
They'll run on first down. It's McCoy. Some tough running, but it only gets him to the 45-yard line. Marcus Hunt able to take him down offensively with the lead. You want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? And think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. On first down, McCoy. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game against them, but tally that one on the side of the defense. Do you think maybe, possibly, it could be a little bit of a changer for them? Maybe not a game changer, but a little bit of a momentum one that maybe they can string together some pretty good plays and slow them down. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll make it third and 13. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Now from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. This will be fielded at the eight. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. To throw is Brissett. Try to lay one up deep. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Offense just continues to reign supreme. Big plays, both sides, back and forth. Tough to keep track of. It certainly is, and I'm over here just marveling at what I'm seeing. It's tough for you, though. You've got to call all these big plays and have all this emotion each time they go at each other. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Brissett sets to throw it. Throw left side complete. It's Mack. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Here's Brissett. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the 5. Superb. Now a run on first down is not going to get off the ground as they will get him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of 3. That'll set him back with a loss of 3 on the play. And it'll bring up a 2nd and 13. So now they have to contend with 2nd and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. They run it again with Williams. 
And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Two yards gets them back to where they started, but now third and ten. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. This is McCoy. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as they'll stop him well short of the yellow line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And he's able to get it out of there, and this is a pretty good kick. This is taken at the 23. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. So the Colts now down by eight. At time, a huge factor. This is where your playoff medal is tested. On the road, needing a touchdown to stay alive as they've got it first and 10. Here's Brissett. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Emmanuel Agba in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Don't where to go with the football. That led to the sack. Well, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. The beauty of being able to play his own defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? It creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. And he comes back with one complete. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. They'll look to throw. They still got two timeouts. Got to start using them, don't they? You absolutely have to. You save them for this situation, but you have to use them. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? Here's Matt. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Back to throw. This goes out right to Doyle. The Colts on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Getting into the playoffs is one thing. Now they get to move on just eight teams left. The dream stays alive. Everyone's gunning for the Super Bowl. That's the ultimate. But you have to get there in incremental steps. One win today gets them one step closer. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn.